Great work. I hope you're feeling warmed up for what's coming next. We're going to talk about bipartite graphs here. There are two conditions for defining a bipartite graph. Firstly, it's a graph in which the nodes are partitioned into two sets. Secondly, the nodes in one set cannot be connected to one another. They can only be connected to nodes in the other set. This is in contrast to the unipartite graphs that you've been using in the previous course in which the nodes are not explicitly partitioned into two sets. Let's use an example to make this concrete. An example where bipartite graphs may come in handy is in the modeling of purchases that a customer makes. In this case, the nodes are partitioned into two sets, the customer's partition and the product's partition. Edges denote that a customer has purchased a particular product. In this case, it makes perfect sense that products cannot be connected to one another. After all, a product cannot purchase a product, likewise for customers. How do we encode this information in Network X? Though it is not required by the API, by convention, bipartite information is encoded as part of the node attributes or metadata using the bipartite keyword. In the toy example above, let's say I'm modeling the connectivity between a customer's and a product's partition. In constructing the graph, I can use the graph objects method add nodes from passing in the list of nodes from each partition as the first argument. By passing in the bipartite equals customers or bipartite equals products argument, the method will automatically create the nodes metadata dictionary with a key bipartite and the corresponding value products or customers. If we inspect the nodes of the graph while passing in the data equals true argument, we'll see the partition information stored. Now, let's recall the definition of the degree centrality metric, which is a measure of node importance. For any graph, the degree centrality of a node in the graph is defined as the number of neighbors in the graph divided by the number of possible neighbors it could have. In a bipartite graph, the denominator is the number of nodes present in the other partition. Again, let's look at this visually to make the concept concrete. For the case of node 2 in the graph, it's connected to the nodes A and B. The number of neighbors it has is 2, and the total number of neighbors it could possibly be connected to is also 2. Thus, it has a degree centrality metric of 1.0. What would be the degree centrality of node A? Pause for a bit and think about it. If you answered one third, that's right. Because Network X doesn't provide an explicit bipartite graph class, you will need to learn how to filter a graph for a node set. This is most commonly accomplished by using list comprehensions. For example, if I want to get the nodes in the customer's partition, I can use the list comprehension as shown in input one above in which we loop over each node n and its associated metadata dictionary d in the graph. We include nodes only if in d the bipartite keys value is customers. Let's inspect that variable, cust nodes. Note how there's only customer nodes contained in that list. Now, as a teaser for how this gets used later, we can get the bipartite degree centrality of a graph by calling on the bipartite degree centrality function, which requires a graph G and a list of nodes from one partition as its arguments. It can be either partition. In the example above, we're using the cust nodes partition. This API design is a design choice by the bipartite module creator and provides a lot of flexibility. Okay, let's relieve our coding itch and get practicing.